Well guys, I was not planning on filming another video today, but I went through the stuff that showed up on Friday, or Saturday I'm say, I was gonna say, before I left to go to the emergency room, and there's a Pena X Apache slip joint that came in from Winston Cobretti for review. So I'm really excited because I haven't got to see one. So I figured let's open it up and let's take a look at it and do first impressions. So it's gonna be an unboxing slash first impressions. So let's go ahead and do that. Guys, let's turn this around and do a little bit of whatever it was I was gonna say. Let's turn this around and take a look at it from above. I'm still really tired, really worn out. Like I said, I was not planning on doing this. I said in the intro and uh, I had opened this box Saturday. It showed up. I wanted to make sure there was nothing in it that, you know, that I needed to lock up or anything like this because this came in from one of my paying members, Winston Cabretti. And when I saw, you know, I opened the box and then I put all this stuff on the shelf because I was really sick and was on my way to the hospital. And then I grabbed that stuff and I was moving stuff around because it was on my workbench. And I saw that this was the Apache slip point joint. This is that Pena X. And I really love Enrique's designs. And I was like, you know what? I don't want to wait any longer. I want to get this started because the nice thing is if this is the size I think it is, it's a small slip joint, I can put it in my fifth pocket and carry it in my watch pocket and have an extra knife and I can just get it in the review and not have to take up some time. So let's go ahead. Let's open this up. I want to look at the packaging. This packaging is nice. You got a nice little plastic slip. I'm not going to tear this off. Um, because I'm afraid that the tape is going to tear the cardboard. So I'm going to leave that on there. I will let the owner do that. So this is Pena X series Apache slip joint in orange micarta. Oh, I hadn't even noticed that. Um, so let's go ahead. Packaging on, I, I think Riat does these, if I remember correctly. Um, so packaging is really good. Let's see here. Uh, you got a Pena X series. Um little uh, wipey cloth. I'm not going to open that because it's not mine. I don't know if this, has this even been opened yet? A uh, little pack of candies and then the knife. Let's see. I don't know if he's, yeah, he's actually open. Okay, cool. So I'm not the first person to open this. Wow. Wow. So your packaging is all really nice. Um, sometimes packaging is kind of an over the top thing. Um, but in something like this, it's a nice knife. I would probably be keeping most of this packaging. I mean, at least this. I don't I don't usually keep these overslips. But yeah, really nice packaging, especially if it's a knife you're gonna keep and add to your collection. So I actually wouldn't do this though, because if you peel these off, then it's ripped. But then at least if you've got boxes, you know exactly what box goes with what knife. So let's get all this stuff out of the way here. Guys, this thing is, man, this is nice. So I'm just looking at the outside of this. Super, super knife. Haven't even looked at the blade yet. Um, Pena X. This is the Apache. Ooh, K390 steel. Um, I've sharpened some K390. I know it's super resilient. I'm going to tell you guys right now, just first blush. This is an unboxing first impressions. This is nice. Everything is super well fit. Everything is matching. The screws stick out just ever so slightly like that, but they're not like sharp or anything well centered i don't know what that is we'll get that out of there real quick first hang on just a second guys i grabbed a pair of tweezers i just didn't want to up and get that down inside the mechanism i don't know if that was some pocket lint from previous carry or something like that but okay so it's obviously been opened a couple times so i'm not the first person to really mess with this i just didn't want to get a bunch of lint down in the pivot um it is a nail nick just a strictly slip joint no pocket clip black and orange my car look at how look at the fit up on that guys hang on a second i'm gonna zoom in on it so you can see it better that is just it's oh wow yes that is such a good it does it walk does it talk yes it does if you're into slip joints this is something that would be amazing Guys, that is so nice in hand. 
very obvious, very, very obvious hollow grind on this. Nice and hollow, nice and deep, nice and thin behind the edge. Got that swedge, kind of a, a Warren Cliff sheep's foot style, nice rounded spine. Little bit of belly on it, nice tip on that. That is a very clean design. I don't know if I'm going to wind up using this enough to sharpen it, but I, I imagine that I would want that to be a little wider because I like, I don't like getting close to the, I don't like getting close to the switch for a couple of reasons. I don't like messing with the aesthetics of the knife and I don't like hitting my stones on that plunge on that, uh, not swedge, I'm sorry, ricasso as it would be, but super clean. It's not sharp at all on a spine, even though it's not like crowned. They've just knocked those edges off. Can't even feel where that marries up. Just barely with a thumbnail can you feel that. Nice finish on that. Looks as though they've done this with a scotch bright, Like maybe a scotch bright finish on that. And then a like a blasted, like an ultra fine blast. Or maybe a tumble on that. I'm going to have to look up specs on this eventually. But man, that is nice. The, the, it is super stiff which is a good thing in a slip joint because you know that's not, you're not gonna accidentally snap that shut on. You can just barely get it to move a little bit of play. Yeah, you're not gonna push like that's, this is definitely a two hand opener. See, even, even me, it slipped off. Yeah, that is a gorgeous blade. Let's see, that is so, so sharp. Let me go get a piece of paper. We'll do a quick cut test on it. Out of, bark, out of box edge. I don't do that all that often. I should start doing that. Let me go get a piece of newspaper. Now, I don't see any marks on this that would indicate that Winston has, uh, and by the way, this came from Winston Cabretti, one of my paying members, same guy that gifted me this um, that I really, really love. Another great knife. Um, so let's go ahead and test out of box edge. That's sharp, guys. I'm not going to lie. It's sharp, but it's still a very coarse factory edge. So I may strop that a little bit and see, but that's a... That's a really sharp knife, guys. And with that hollow, it is nice and thin behind the edge. Um, I'd like to measure it, but I'm gonna save that for first day in pockets, which I'm gonna tell you what, is not gonna be long away. Uh, nice nail nick on it, just a nice depth on it. It's nice and clean. If you're like, sometimes you'll get these knives and the nail nick is not real, real deep. That is really deep and really sharp up against in a butts and you want that so you can get that knife open. Man, guys, that is a beautiful, beautiful knife. I like the finish on it. You got the bilateral or bi-directional satin. So you got satin going this way, satin going this way, satin going that way on the swedge. All those facets. That is attractive. And and I love Enrique's designs. I love seeing Enrique at shows because you always know he's going to bring his A game when he's at a show. Super, super nice. Um, this is something I'm going to carry in a in my like I said in my uh, in my watch pocket. And uh, that is just perfect for, that's a perfect size for that, perfect shape for that. Beautiful handle shape. I do like slip joints. We don't see them on the channel very often because they, they are not what is real popular, but I'm not, that is done so, so well. So yeah, listen to that. Listen to that snap open. It snaps. It comes to that half stop and then snap shut. You can't stop it. Like once you get past, it's going. And let's see, I know that sometimes on lesser and cheaper slip joint knives, they will snap into the actual back spring and then you wind up with a dull spot. I've had some do that, not an issue on this one. Blade is perfectly centered. Look at that spine. Look at the spine on that blade. It is so well done. And then like I said, you can almost not see where that lines up. That is amazing how well that is done. Um, the only other the only other slip joint I've seen that is this good are the Jack Wolf knives, the prototypes that I saw at at Blade Show in at Blade Show West in Long Beach. Let's try and look at this. Let's see how's that line up. Looks like it lines up just perfect. Man. Nice, clean. You don't even see a hiccup on the way that's rounded over. Perfectly rounded. This is super nice, guys. I've been wanting to see one of these Pena X Apaches, the slip joint Apaches, for a while. And like I said, Enrique never fails to impress when I see his knives, his the ones he brings to shows. 
So nice. So nice. I remember the first time I saw an Enrique Pena knife and I was like, man, that's a lot for a slip joint. And then I got to see, I got to see him at a show. Like I saw an advertisement for one. I was like, how much? And then I saw him at a show and I was like, oh, I get it. These are great. I don't know price point. I don't know construction. I do know, I do know it's K390. Um, so we're going to see how this carries. I'm going to put it, let me put it in my, oh, that, I was going to say, let me put it in my watch pocket real quick and let's see how it carries. Oh, that's not going to be a problem at all. Nice and slick and smooth. That is great. There's a there's a couple of slip joints I've seen in the last few years. One of them was a Benchmade, uh, the Benchmade proper. Pretty nice. Um, the, the ones from Jack Wolf Knives and then this one. Man, this thing is great. This is a really, really nice design. I'm going to try and figure out a way to get Enrique to do a, 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 a live feed with me. I know he's pretty shy, but we could definitely try and get him on there. That thing is, boy, that locks up so hard. Yeah, you're not going to, I'm trying, like, I would, I'm trying to get in a position where there's no way I could cut myself. Yeah, you're not going to, you're not going to have that close on you at all. Man, that is attractive. That is a good, good looking knife. Man, well done, Enrique. Thank you very much, Winston, for sending this. Uh, like I said, I wasn't going to do it until I realized what he had sent. There's another, there's another knife he sent that we're going to probably do another unboxing on. It is a, uh, it's called the We Knives Press Check. Uh, this is stuff that came in Saturday and the box was on my front door just as I was leaving to go to the emergency room uh, and then wound up in the hospital for like three days. So guys, man, I, I would stay and play with this a little bit longer, but I don't want this video to be too long. Let's turn this around, and do some final thoughts. So there you go guys this is that this is going to be fun to carry and i wanted to get it out because this is an additional knife that i carry because it doesn't have a pocket clip so i can carry it down in my pocket and just kind of get a feel for it so we'll see how the k390 is this thing came stupid sharp this thing's great so um i'm digging it so far guys that's it on this one if you like the content give it a thumbs up if you don't like it give it a thumbs down but please try to tell me why i can't change that content if you don't tell me what you don't like if you want to support the channel it's as simple as like share subscribe drop a comment hit the bell icon but if you do hit the bell icon make sure you have notifications turned on your device you're not going to get notified of the two sometimes three things that go up a day um, if you want to support the channel other ways you can do it financially i have a handful of ways down in the description below is where you can find them all. I have a membership link that gets you in on a tier-based membership. Um, just go through, pick the pick the tier that has the benefits you want, but just remember everyone saves $5 off of my sharpening service and everyone has access to my gilded server where we hang out and chat. Other ways you can do it, a lot of affiliate links, affiliate links. And like I said, if you use the Blade HQ one, I'm sure you can find some of these knives that I show on the channel, but there's a lot of other stuff down there. Anything you, anything you purchase, I get a portion of it at checkout. It doesn't cost you anything extra. And I have a merchandise store on Ember Shirt Co. And I've set up a coupon code that works anywhere on Ember Shirt Co. That coupon code is Crazy Sharp, capital C, capital S, Crazy Sharp, all one word, saves you 10% at checkout. And if you send me a picture of you wearing my merchandise, I will put them in a video. Guys, that's it. I love you all. Keep it clean in the comment section. If it's your birthday, happy birthday. And I will see you next time.